No one just took a video for you guys. You already turned it back on? Yeah. Oh my God, welcome, I can't with you. If you back. never give me any kind of notice. Welcome back to the He's Wrong, She's Right podcast, the podcast where I don't know shit about fuck, but I'm going to eat my bacon. I'm talking with my mouth full, mm -hmm. just so there's not dead air. This is my wife, Tits McGee. Tits McGee. Yeah. Yeah. Your favorite. Mm -hmm. They're very beautiful. Mm. Mm -hmm. Very squishy. My wife is my stress ball. Unfortunately. What do you mean, unfortunately? Unfortunately. You are so fortunate that I use you as my... I'm so fortunate that you use me. Did you hear what you just said? Yeah. Welcome. Welcome. We are here today mm -hmm. to talk about, let's just talk about plastic surgery. That's kind of a good, that's a good hot topic. All right, let's go let's for go. it. What kind of plastic surgery would you get done, Andrew? Hmm. Penis enlargement? Robot penis, for sure. Robot penis? Yeah, I want to push a button and go, extend out. I am or, imagining ooh, my ooh, cervix ooh, getting ooh, punched. Mm, 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 mm. Vibrator on the inside. I could get down with that. You took a long time to consider. Yeah. It. I, 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 what if it fucked it up, though, and like you couldn't actually get it up ever? Just tape some popsicle sticks to it. It'll be okay. And then I'll get splinters inside. Organic popsicle sticks. I would still get splinters. They would just be <laughs> organic splinters. Um, Paper straws. There we go. Ow! But they dissolve eventually. That still would not feel good going inside. Okay. And I would never give you another blowjob again. Then you would be much sad. Aww. Aww. Because it would get all soggy Aww. with your paper straw. Have you seen uh, Miss March? I don't know what that is. What's that? It's a. I think I actually did. Maybe we didn't get all the way through. I can't remember. Craig Robinson from The Office. The black guy. The uh, I can't remember. He's partners with Daryl. Yeah, Daryl. Okay. Um, he's one of the main characters in the movie. He's like a rapper or something like that. Okay. And his his name in the movie is Horse Dick What? And then at the end of the movie, you find out that he's got like this little deformed baby dick, and he has to pee through a straw. Oh my god! You would just blow your brains out, wouldn't you? Of course, if you yeah. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah, that's what I thought. I don't think we can talk about that though. Oh, sewer slide. Okay, I'm sorry. Um, you I would let you. I would let you blow my metaphorical brains out. Is what we met on YouTube. This podcast is educational. <laughs> this is a sex therapy podcast. Please don't uh, demonetize us. Okay. Yeah, that's what this is. Sex therapy. One, sex therapy. Sex therapy. Four twenty point sixty nine. There we go. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay. 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 Um, so yeah. She wants all the attention. Your show that you watch all the time. Housewives? Has, yeah. I swear all of those people should be unboxed. <laughs> God, you're so mean. You're so when you make, mean. When you make your entire personality about how many procedures you have or can have done, it doesn't actually make you look better. Would you like to speak? Do you have something to say? They can't hear you. What you talk? She said, hello, guys. That was Willow, age two. So, yeah, that's my, that's my, uh, oh, damn. I need, like, I want, like, a position where I can sit, but, like, I feel like I need to lean. Yep. I, that's, you know, I literally, you know, my neck, everything. my back, all the way down. Okay. It's all hurting. <laughs> Leaning into the mic like this just so they can I'm hear me. My, working on my posture. Working on my core over here. Yeah, if I sit how I normally sit, nobody would hear me. Yes, they would. Mm. You can always bring the mount in closer. I don't have to be that far away, or we can actually use that. So, talking about plastic surgery. Plastic surgery. What would you say are the procedures that like that you you've gone too far once you've done this? Because I remember, and we kind of just talked about this recently. I don't think we talked about it on the show, but how women used to be like, no, I'm all natural. I'm mm -hmm. all natural. And you were saying that now women celebrate it and will even. Yeah, they boast about it. They're like, oh, I'm getting it done. Just 
Like they'll, they'll post on social media. Does anybody have any recommendations? Does anybody, what did you guys do for recovery? Like how long did it take mm-hmm. you? I'm going this size. What size do you have? Mm-hmm. I went to this surgeon. Use my referral code. So like, okay. Breast implants, we both agree are good. Okay. Okay. So About where it stops I had never had any plastic surgery in my entire life. And I nursed all four of my kids. I was an A cup before I got pregnant. And then I was a spilling over triple D every time I nursed. So that's, you know, going from nothing to all of a sudden having a lot and then back to nothing when you're done nursing. It's just a lot on the body and you can't did go you have, to the gym to you, fill out. Did you have flapjacks? <laughs> Basically, I mean, so I got them filled up to not even like when I was nursing, they were bigger than what I have now. But, but they were, but they were natural. But they but were, they were full of milk. <laughs> but they were different. Like they're probably actually larger now. They just don't appear as large no, because no, no. you have under muscle. I guarantee you, okay. they were larger. Okay. So what are what other procedures? would you say are kind of right in line with like they're it's like the same yeah maybe i don't want to do that but i can see why someone would do that or i don't want to do it because i don't need it but i would consider it if i need, like what would those procedures be to you because you you weren't you weren't considering getting implants before you had children right you only considered it after um i actually vaguely thought about it at like 18 19 years old when obviously i was was there a stigma or did the stigma go away after you had children um let's see i was it was 2007 so this was of the era when women were expected to be bone thin but also have perfect boobs so i was thin enough but also flat chested. I did have a big butt naturally though. So I, I just told myself, okay, you that's to balance yourself. That's good enough. You're leaning too far back and you need but, something to bring yeah, you forward. Right. And and so I kind of I vaguely for like maybe two or three months thought, okay, maybe I'll save up some money, see if I can do this. Okay. And I just I put it on the back burner. It wasn't anything that was pressing. I wasn't self-conscious about it. Do you think if you would have gotten them done at that time before children? I don't think I would have been able to nurse my children. No, 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 not nurse. Do you think you would have wanted to have children or as many? Because there are, there are tons of women who are like, why would you want to ruin my perfect body? Like if you, I did have in my mind the perfect body and I still chose to have four children. So the having breast implants wouldn't have impacted that. I just, I don't think I would have been able to nurse them necessarily. I don't know that as fact. Don't some of them, don't some people get them removed at that time sometimes um, so that they can nurse? I, I'm sure people say both ways that they either were still able to have a milk production or that yes, they did get them removed. Gotcha. So I don't, I, I can't speak on something I don't know. So what are, what, you haven't answered this question. Well, oh. No no butt implants, right? No butt implants. We can both agree that that's stupid. The ones that have always grossed me out are like calf implants or like bicep implants. I remember like the, that just creeps me out. I remember there was something when we were in high school and it wasn't something that I actively watched, but it was something around when we were in high school, maybe like. Maybe I saw it because somebody else was watching. It was like like a Jersey Shore type thing or something like that. And I, I remember a guy getting calf implants because he couldn't develop his calves. And all I could think was, you're dumb. Just go to the gym, dude. Mm-hmm. They're really, people drivel and complain and say it's so difficult to develop calves. It's not that difficult. You just are not actually dedicated. Calves, in my opinion, are one of the most easy muscles to develop. I could see that. I would say triceps, pecs, calves, in that order. Okay. Then biceps. You're talking specifically for men, right? Uh, no, for women too. The problem with women is that they're 
concerned with doing too much cardio and they don't want to eat because they don't actually want to gain muscle. They want to get lean. But if you gain muscle, you can get lean faster. Men and women cannot develop yeah. in the same way. Yeah, you absolutely can. You just don't want to because women are afraid that they're going to get bulky and they're not. No. Yes. No. Yes. It's scientifically proven, scientifically true. Yes, you can. No. It's, I it, disagree. It, well, it, you disagree because you're... You and I can do the exact same workout, obviously. You don't with... have the same nutrition that I have. You eat hummus and um, cucumber. cucumber and stuff. You're not consuming the proper bioavailable nutrients that would help you develop your body. Because I'm not eating bacon. But no, not just bacon. Steak and eggs and all that kind of stuff. Yeah. A lot I disagree. Of you can disagree. I disagree. I'll, talk, I'll, I'll see if uh, Dr. Frank wants to come on sometime. Okay. He's a good guy. Some of these people probably know who he is. Okay. All three. Of so anyways, back to subscribe. Get subscribed. Black. Back to plastic surgery. You wouldn't do calves. You no, wouldn't do I wouldn't do calf or bicep implants. I'm sure there's other arm and leg implants that I'm just not saying, but those are the ones that like really creep me out. Um, they look like chicken cutlet. What about those like implants like in your face? To give you more defined facial. I'm not even talking about injections. There are people. You're not talking about filler. You're no. talking about actual. Yeah. yeah. Because there are people that want the, the permanence. They don't want to have to go back and do it over and over and over. Again. I don't know that a lot of surgeons are still doing that. I feel like that was. Would... Not in the U.S. Ah, uh, gotcha. They travel out of the country. You can get your vacation and a cheaper procedure by the guy in the alley in Mexico. Mm hmm. Isn't Brazil like one of the number one spots to go? I don't know for plastic surgery. I don't. I don't know. I have They're no known idea. for their BBLs. I thought they all had naturally big butts. No. For sure, a lot of them do, and that's why the rest of them want them. Some of them are fortunate enough to have natural, beautiful butts. The rest of them have purchased them. And BBLs are the highest the risk. Actually, I bet if you lined up three girls, one being natural and two with BBLs, you probably would only get one cracked. Correct. I don't think you could. I can't. Just like they've, I can tell. They've gotten so much better than, and they're not implants. I didn't say they were implants. Right. Their their fat that's been sucked out of their stomach, and they're required to either gain twenty pounds before the surgery or already have that extra twenty pounds on them, whichever the case may be. It gets sucked out of them and then put back into their butt. There's not a single doctor around here that will do it. Here in Wilmington, you have to go to like Florida or somewhere yeah, where the vein people live. It was the highest risk plastic surgery. Well, infection or no while you're on the table so not not post surgery you're more likely to it, i don't think it's even the anesthesia because i mean my breast surgery took longer than expected and um i was perfectly fine it, it's something about the liposuction is so aggressive and then putting it back in. It's something to do with that. I don't know exactly what the terminology is, but it's it's how aggressive they have to be with you. They're, I mean, I've seen videos. They're like... I'm not a plastic surgeon, but I stay at Holiday Inn Express once. What? She, she doesn't get pop culture references ever. I don't... Yeah, what are you saying? There used to be a, there used to be a commercial. There'd be something happening, like... They'd be on a plane. They'd need a pilot. And they're like, well, I'm not a pilot, but I stayed in a Holiday Inn Express once. As if like, I don't that, mean, <laughs> that means you're hyper intelligent. You stayed at this hotel or motel one time. I don't get it. So you're, you're super intelligent. You can do anything and everything. Okay. Yeah. So anyways. So anyways. What plastic surgery would you want me to get? Yeah. Play this game with me. Nope. What do you want me to have? Nope. I know you want something. No, I don't. Mm -hmm. Nope. Nope. You're the one who brought it up. As we were 
I wanted to talk about how they all looked botched and I wanted you to say what you thought was dumb and what wasn't. Um, like there's people that get like their, you know, they get like rhinoplasty and get their nose reshaped. Or there's people that get like there was um I I remember somebody having like basically their entire fucking face changed. They had like bone sculpting and stuff, like all kinds of facial completely elective they did not look bad there's people that want to be like dogs and get their ears cropped yeah i'm not down with that look and the people who identify as aliens and like i don't know i don't know shit about fuck once again so oh yeah there's all but the point is there's all kinds of weird elective surgeries Mm -hmm. that that if you pay enough money, somebody will do it for you. Yep. You might go to one doctor and they might say, absolutely not. You'll go to a second doctor and they will say, okay. How much money you got in your bank? Sign account? your life away. Can I take your kidney out too? Right. That's what happens in Mexico. Probably. If you wake up with bigger boobs, but you're on an ice bath, you should probably check for scarring in your abdomen and in your back. hmm Just in case. If you or, wake up at all. Or... That's what's really happening with all these BBLs because they're already getting ah. stuff sucked out there anyways. So they wouldn't know any different. And they have to lay on their stomach for like the six kidney, weeks or the, something. The kidney is a very, very, very amazing, resilient organ. Like they're, it's, it's the only organ that can completely pick up production in place of the second. You could have complete renal failure of one kidney and potentially never know it as long as you never had any sort of toxicity. You could only have one kidney potentially. Your other kidney can completely take up all the additional production and you could never know. Like it's, that's why it's so easy to perform kidney transplants. Not that the recipient is easy always. Is probably not the best word. No, like as far as, as far as uh, organ transplants go, it's, the breast implant of organ transplants. It's one of the most common. It's one of the most well researched. It's one of the most sought after. I mean, that's the most depressing place I've ever been in my life was in a renal uh, dialysis clinic for clinicals. It's literally people that are tied to a machine three plus days a week. And if you don't show up, you're not going to make it very long and you better hope that you didn't do other dumb shit in your life so that you can stay on that list, tie up on that list and find somebody, some donor match. Hopefully a family member will come forward and do it for you Mm -hmm. because they usually take a lot better if it's somebody with very, very similar DNA and genetics. That's. Would you give me one of yours? I don't know that we're compatible. What's your blood type? O positive. Well, I'm A positive, so no, we're not compatible. Well, I guess we should get divorced. You'd then. have to be O negative. Just uh, just go go uh, hire an attorney for something unrelated and see if they'll push the paperwork. For like that story I was showing you yesterday. Oh, pertaining to a divorce. Yeah. Okay. So you want me to go forward with that? Okay. No, absolutely. Good to know. No, we're never getting divorced. Mm-hmm. I'll die first. Okay. So, so, anyways. What procedures do you want me to get? Are you on the spot? Mm, I can't think of anything. Nobody believes you. I'm joking. What What plastic surgery looks good on a man? Like, I cannot think of a single plastic surgery that... I mean, okay. Let me... Let me Look at Zac Efron. That is a perfect example. I'm pretty sure it's just fillers. I don't think it's anything more than fillers. His face? Yes. Okay. And Ryan Gosling, also I get. I'm pretty sure fillers, not actual surgery. Maybe there's surgery too. He's I don't forty anal- something. I don't now. analyze dudes like that unless it's gaudy and but obvious. Like, yeah, it's just not. It's not attractive. I don't find plastic surgery on a man to be attractive. Maybe once you've hit forty five and you've got the crow's feet and the what is it the when you're squinting here and it's called elevens or bunny lines or something like that. I don't know. Um, maybe a little bit of Botox I could be okay with, but 
full on plastic surgery on a man. It just I haven't don't you, I haven't seen a good result. Don't you think that's funny that science figured out a way to take some take botulism? Yeah, yeah. And turn it into something that people would want to use and by want to use it's paralyze your cells. Yeah, I'm down. I'm down for a frozen face. No, thank you for me. If I could have a frozen face right now, I think I would be a lot happier. <laughs> I don't like my face moving. I have such an expressive face that sometimes I'll just catch myself in the mirror because I'm doing that in public at Trust people without realizing that I'm doing it. And so I'd much rather just be a resting bitch face like Ben. I'd go into the, I'd go into the clinic and... <laughs> Tell the doctor, hey, make sure she's got a permanent smile. That way, even when she's mad, she's still smiling at me. So you want me to, like, joke her the sides? No, I'm not cut into you. But if if you're going to... There's no... You're going to freeze your face. My face is naturally downturning, though. So that would that would take threading. Go in there and get some sutures. That would, yeah, that, that's and what, what I just said. Something. It would take threading to actually, like, pull it up. I mean, if they want to, like, I don't know. Are you paying for this, babe? Like, pull my, all my, everything back. That's, like, what happens for, I'm looking in the you reflection of the you don't monitor. Have, you don't want to have your they have to, like, forehead pull all the way They shave back your... all here, shave your hair, and then, like, pull everything yeah. back. Don't, you want your, you want your hairline to be at your, uh, your cranial suture, right? Where's that? That. Where you're, uh, that's, oh my God, why can't I think of the terminology right now? I don't know. The soft spot. The soft spot. Yeah. You know, for the soft spots in your pants. <laughs> for babies, that's the cranial suture. Yeah. Oh, I thought that was like back here. No. Where the, the it's not done forming and then it. Your entire skull isn't done forming. Right. Because it has to come through. Yeah. So behind. I thought, I thought it was. No, you actually have, you actually have multiple. I can't remember this. I can't remember the exact name of this suture, but this is the most prominent one. This is the soft spot. Okay. okay. You have like twelve. Okay. Your entire skull finishes forming after you're born, mm -hmm. and they look just like stitches. That's why they're called sutures. Okay. Anyways, plastic surgery. You may get a midlife crisis makeover. What does that entail? Pretty sure that entails your face because all these women in like i'd say late 40s getting new faces um so it's like switching your face between nicholas cage and john travolta is that what we're talking about no i'm talking about like martha stewart how she went from oh happy lady in the kitchen cooking with snoop dogg to Posting thirst traps uh, in the pool. The, the, a lot of those were like AI altered. No, no, no. That's just, mm. yeah. Mm. Mm. Somebody did a really good job on her no. face. And somebody needs to start paparazzi needs to start sneaking into these people's bedrooms and cut them <laughs> without makeup or I mean filters. Beards are the makeup for men. Makeups are the actual makeup for girls. Yeah, but I so. can't take my beard off. And put it back on. Yeah, please a, don't. Please do not take that thing off. It's a permanent fixture. You would look terrible without a beard. You don't know. You Maybe. you have no face definition, no jawline or yeah, anything. I so I don't right now. But right. I, but I That's what I'm saying. So the beard helps hide that. Oh my God! Somebody um took the beard off of Chris Stapleton, I don't know and what he's he got. Looks like. He's got a beard about as long as my hair, and it like goes all the way down. And somebody, there's oh my god, it was there's terrible. Uh, there, there's AI <laughs> models that can do that. Right, that's what and, somebody did, no, 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 no. and it was like no, no, no. So here's here's the life was just like me, like str divorce. I was if you take off your beard, I was listening to Level One Text uh, the other day. Somebody actually has built and they're selling a camera. It's a deep fake camera. You can take a picture of anybody okay. and instantly you have what they look like naked underneath. No, thank you. I don't want to know what anybody looks like naked. But the cat's already out of the bag. And there's models on there. If somebody's taking a picture of you, you can probably, like you're at the grocery store, you're at the beach, whatever. You're in the background. Mm -hmm. 
with 100 percent. if i'm at the beach i'm already in a bathing suit like with 100 percent certainty i can tell you that that person's undressing you again if i'm at the beach i'm already in a bathing suit so and even if they're not doing it now they're archiving the photo and they're doing it later okay that's what you do when you're looking at people you're mentally undressing them anyway so mm -hmm. so don't you want to know what they think you look like no i don't want to know what people think they that it, I meant like what their generated image looks like. I do not want to know. Okay. A lot of countries are making deep fakes illegal too. Good. Specifically if they're like, um, like if you take like a famous person or if it's like revenge porn. Oh, yeah, no, I'm not down yeah. with that. Yeah, no, they're, they're making those illegal, but like you have to be caught for it to matter. Right, 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 right. So if you go and make your little AI girlfriend. Mm -hmm. it looks, At a dollar a minute on OnlyFans. And it looks like. Taylor Swift. Right. Probably not going to get away with that. Yeah. Probably and not. And luckily she's got a great legal team that would however, protect her. However, most of these AI models, the image generation models, multimodal models and stuff like that that exist right now, because they're trained on public, publicly available information, images, whatever, they pretty much all look very similar. Mm -hmm. It's very easy to tell like, an AI generated person because just like um, I don't know that random lady on like, your USA tweet who thought that I was an AI yeah. generate like so so you know you know how like uh, stock image models on like um, clothing websites yes. right like they usually use the same models those models are not actually wearing those clothes mm -hmm. for the most part they they might be wearing something similar but they didn't change their shorts. 13 times for every color in the catalog. Right, right. They're just, I mean, like when I had worked at that other organization years ago, mm -hmm. we had guys that could do that. I mean, Lance, all of Lance's images for thigh huggers, those are all photoshopped on him. He's not wearing those products because he doesn't even have them yet. Gotcha. So, yeah, like when you, all those like uh, stock images, uh, lingerie models, mm -hmm. like all that kind of stuff has all been used to train those AI models. Okay. And you can get what's called the seed and you can kind of track back like where, how you got to that point. Okay. If you have access to all the different parts. But there are also, because there's uh, metadata embedded in a lot of images. So when you look at an image, that file contains more than just that image. It contains location data, image about the device that you took it off of, accounts that are connected, you know, lens, all the information about your device, everything. It's all embedded into that image. There's also information about editing software and if you edit it. So if you took a picture with your phone, threw it in Photoshop and edited it and exported that picture, that's in the metadata for the image. Okay. And that's very easy. Like right click on it, click properties on Windows. I don't know what the equivalent is on Mac. And mm -hmm. you can open up the image and you can see mm -hmm. change history and stuff like that. You can also, there's a bug with a lot of uh, phones and desktop applications where if you crop an image or highlight something or let's say you're like blacking something out to omit information from mm -hmm. an image, people with the right software can undo those changes. If you're like trying to block out your social security number mm -hmm. or crop out certain information, that information actually still exists in the image file. It's just not present for human eyes. And people have and can revert it back to the original state. So you could think that you're sharing a redacted version of something and somebody can go and take that and unedit it. Yeah. Nobody's information is safe. No. There is no privacy. I can give I can give a lesson on pretty much every episode about something like this. I know it's your favorite thing. No, it's not my favorite thing. It's just I hate that people willingly give up this stuff. Like everything that you did on the internet 15, 20 years ago, it's going to come back and haunt you if it hasn't already. 15 to 20 years ago. I have nothing on the internet from 15 to 20 years ago. And that's what you think. You didn't put it on the internet. Your family members, your boyfriends, your friends, you know, people that still had stuff on their devices, shared it on MySpace. It still exists. People have access to it. Let's go back before we close out this episode. What time are we at? 32. Okay. 
Let's go back to your show okay. for a moment. Real Housewives of fill in the blank. I don't know any of these people's names. Right. And he'll just walk by who? and go, ugh, who? what's wrong with her face? Who in the most recent one that you're watching? Potomac. Who is the most attractive and who is the ugliest? Or who has the worst clearly bad botched surgery? Come on. Um, I think... Uh, I think Ashley is beautiful. Um, she's very natural and she actually just got natural looking or has always had procedures done. No, no, no. Aren't... She's very, very natural. And she just got her first plastic surgery of fake boobs post two babies. Okay. Nursing two babies. Okay. And so basically same story as me. Only it was two instead of four. Also, she was flat chested before she got pregnant and okay. then nursed. And then, yeah. Anyway, so she... She even introduced him at the beginning of the season, which I'm just starting the most recent season. She did name them. I don't remember what they were, but she was like, it's all not, right, guys, I'm not, back. And it's not this left is, and right. oh, no, no, not left and right. Like they had, they have full names, meet, blah, 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 and blah, blah, blah. Okay. But otherwise, her face is natural, as far as I know. And she's just a very youthful looking mid 30s. Because she's got beautiful jeans. Um, and then. Who's Bosch? Mia. She introduced herself on literally the first episode of coming onto the show um, the previous season. So she's like a, a very new cast member. And girl just named all the procedures that she had had. She so even said that she got her clit done. Which she apparently misspoke. It was apparently a labiaplasty, not getting her clit done. But everybody speculated, did you get your clit done because you've been beat up? <laughs> oh, so are, you actually, are you actually saying that she's ugly or she's ugly because the procedures made her ugly? Um. So there have been a few flashback pictures of what she looked like pre-procedures, plural. But if you didn't know what she looked like previously? And she looks like a completely different person now. No, but if you didn't know what she looked like, would you still have that same opinion? Yes. I, I, she was naturally beautiful before. So, um, so she hit herself with the ugly stick. She just, she's had a lot done and she has some great tips. I will say that. But she said, I think she's had four pairs. How do you compare yours? I wouldn't compare them even to any of them. No, I meant to hers. You said hers are great. So well, how do you rate yours? I'm just saying that that's oh. probably the only thing that was a successful surgery, but she's apparently had four pairs done. Gotcha. So, yeah. <laughs> um, oh, what we're talking about, you just throw it at me and I have to sit here and take it. True crime. Oh. Oh. Okay. Yeah. True crime, yeah. dot, dot, dot. You and I are not experts in true crime. No. We're not experts in anything. I mean. We're not experts in anything. I'm expert enough. Expert enough? Yeah. That's... In true crime? No, not not in true crime. You're right. Just, I'm not an expert in anything. I'm expert enough. Okay. Whatever you say. That was uh, before their, um, what was it called? MGTOW. Are you familiar with that? No, I don't know what that is. Stood for men going their own way. I had a friend that was like elbows deep in this cult for a while. That's okay. how I know what it is. And it's sounds like guys on the down low. It's supposed to be like they're they're like independent. It's it's like the boss bitch of like guy world. I know how much you hate that that women yeah. find themselves to be empowering. It doesn't Walking around talking about it, it's the exact same thing as calling yourself an alpha male. The same fucking thing. Calling yourself. I a, disagree. No, it's the exact I same disagree. thing. It's, no, you don't need to tell people. If you actually are, you don't need to tell people. People will know. Walking around and saying it tells us you're the opposite. 100% of the time, every time, every single time. So we are going to be talking about true crime. Do you have a specific crime or criminal that you're going to bring up that you want to tease for Thursday? 
No, because I'm just now being put on the spot and I don't know any of this. So what are you going to? I don't know shit about fuck, but. I don't either. And... No, I actually do know what I want to talk about, but. Okay. Then let's do it. Cliffhanger for the end of the episode. Da, da, da. Yeah. Love you. I <laughs> love you too, crazy man. Bye, audience. Hey, um, like, subscribe, leave a review, leave a comment. When we get to 100 subscribers, we forgot to talk about this in the last couple of episodes. $100 gift card from Amazon. Randomly selected comment. Yeah, and it. apparently on a previous episode, I promised to show you guys my belly button. And that's where apparently some of you guys are coming from. So, 1,000 subscribers, I'll show my belly for, button. Yeah, 1,000 subscribers for a belly button, but 100 for a $100 yes. gift card. All right, you creepy belly button play people. Bye. Bye.